Hey America, I'm just going to jump in because the camera's working. And what I'm doing is I'm doing my proof thing. And the bread was really tight. Um, I didn't use all bread flour. I used this new um, bread barn flour, a lot of it. So we're having to do this over and over and over to get a good rise on it. All right. And um, that means maybe I could have... I could have needed it longer. I kind of rushed a little bit. I'm in a lot of um, discomfort, shall we say. Oh, but I finally sat down and my mind has been clear enough. So um, I listened to some messages. Yeah, my mind has been thundering for days with a lot of stuff, people. So anyways, um, those who know, know. All right. Anyway, so... Um, uh, I, well, I was saying, yeah, I got a good call. I'm sitting there saying, but it's hard to think when I'm in pain. I got a good call. Um, all my doctors got together and really communicated and got me um, my referral to the neuro. The neuro the neurologist that I need to see. And uh, we're going to. Move from there. Um, I think first thing we'll do is we're going to try to find a way to take the pain away and relax my body first. And we'll try that first. And then uh, Dr. Lynn had a, a drug that he was talking about that would uh, take away the um, the um, the actual sensors working in my um, in, in my neuron firings. I didn't know if that was a good idea right now, but maybe later. Because my neuron firings are very important when I'm working out. I must extreme my neuron firings to get my proper workout. Anyways, what we're doing is we're just proofing some bread. And I use this. This is a, another Winko product. And it's the Red Barn. Um, um, and it looks like it's like a whole wheat. But it, uh, with a bread flour mix. It's, it's, um, it's got a, um, yeah, really. Alright, so that's gravelly and that's that's like hard gravel and like stickier this is like thicker gravel like whole wheat so it's a whole wheat um so it's gonna be oh man of course white <laughs> i'm wearing black of course and i always get white on myself um so i've just been rotating this for a while now one thing that's important about this you do you can do it too fast so I'll, I, I don't like go boil, 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 boil. I let one cool down for a while. I let the whole thing cool. Because if I keep throwing them in there at 180 degrees, it's going to raise the thing up above 125 degrees too fast or just on the side of it. And this is where we talk about the bread being a living thing. Right now we have a living thing in the oven in the proof box. And we want to raise it just right. We want to give it just the right humidity and just the right moisture. We don't want to go over too much and we don't want in heat especially because that'll burn it. And it's, that's like taking the sun and, and or your sun lamp and putting it right next to you and it burns you instead of, you know, you know, instead of giving you a, a tan, you know, or, or a plant. It burns a plant if you get a bright light too close to it so we back it away same thing with the heat we've got to keep this heat down so the yeast can grow at this optimum uh, degrees between 90 and 95 degrees and we have this high level of humidity that's why the boiling water is going in there is create this humidity at the same time so the inside of that oven is actually dripping the walls are dripping with moisture condensation all right peace out